Not too long ago, I tried out a product from Zyber VR. It was their all-in-one Oculus Quest 2 uh, controller attachment. I was very impressed with that, so I was more than happy to receive this new product from them, which is the Golf Club attachment, specifically only for golf, and it uses their fantastic mount system for the controller, really sturdy, um, much higher quality than a lot of the uh, Oculus Quest 2 accessories you see from China. So I um, haven't used it yet, haven't even opened it up. Um, I believe to buy this is about $50 at the moment. I assume it doesn't include VAT and shipping or someone perhaps, but yes, yeah, $50 at the moment on their website. Uh, also comes with a couple of training aids, um, so I'll have a look what they are. But um, yeah, we'll have a look together. I did get this for free, but they haven't asked me to give a positive review or anything. Just to be transparent, they just sent it to me. Um, so yeah, let's uh, open it up and have a look. So here is the box it comes in. We're going to open it up, check it out together, and see what it actually comes with. The instruction manual. Hopefully we don't need that. We'll see. The main piece, obviously, is the golf club handle. Now it is pretty much an actual golf club grip, which um, should really help with immersion and control because obviously <laughs> you can't do a lot with this one of these but uh, so yeah we'll see how it gets on I'm not sure how the collar thing there uh, does well right, let's take off this in fact I don't really want to use the knife against a rubber grip well this could take a while couldn't it Hello. I'll open that for me. Oh, this is ridiculous. It shouldn't be this hard. What's going on? What is going on? Now, really? What is going on? I can't open it. I cannot open this. I don't want to dig the knife in. Oh, I'm going to have to dig the knife in. This is a farce. How? How did you get this off? It's starting, it's just coming off in bits. This is a joke. This, this is stupid. This is stupid. Oh, I'm crying out loud. Nearly there, come on. Oh, it's done. It's done. Whew. Right, now let's check out the other bits and bobs we get. These two boxes. It comes with uh, a couple of training aids, I believe. Get rid of that box. We got in here. The heck is that? Some sort of mount. I mean, What's that for? Is that for, what, just mounting on the wall or somewhere? I mean, if it is, that's that's pretty cool. If they, they thought about that, that's actually really awesome. I 3D printed a little thing to hold, hold the long all-in-one jobby on. Okay, so yeah, it comes with this training aid here. Might be useful for me anyway. Any help I can get for golf? Two training aids, yeah. So this is the band that goes sort of over your biceps. Um, I mean, these cost, you know, you're going to be paying just for these on their own usually. This is pretty cool. So $50 all in at the moment on their website. I guess that's not including VAT. So, yeah. And then this one is to help with wrist cupping I assume so that goes there and then you would do them up and then so you can't bend your wrist backwards on the upswing and help stop the slice be worth trying out anyway cool that they're in, cool that they're included but moving on let's get them out of the way Um, okay. As I said with the all-in-one, what was the, so awesome I means it actually 
high quality bit of kit but these things are brilliant how these work it's quite cool they're giving you both because obviously you only need to use one but uh you know i would have expected they just include one because it doesn't really matter which one which controller you use but that's nice they include two um so yeah here's here's the right controller how these go on is uh pretty awesome you just put it on slide it till it stops and click sturdy as anything doesn't come with the cat hair that's extra there we go i do really like these mounting things what the deal is here then i assume that's that's gonna be a cap screws in screws in there okay and that is solid not a lot more to show on here goes together very easily and um, obviously you just leave this together now uh, i'm not really sure what the point of this part is exactly why this doesn't just directly screw onto here but doesn't matter it's a solid really solid construction uh, i don't have any worries about this flying off i mean if you, you you can't use the lanyard if you wanted to do some sort of strap for yourself you could but i've, I've got no problems worrying about this coming off at all it is an awesome design really sturdy let's uh let's give it a go on a couple of games and um get my thoughts at the end but uh build quality wise yeah impressive Okay, so we're in Walkabout Mini Golf here. You can now have your own controller. It's a case of just holding the grip and positioning it. Until you've got it about right, of course, it extends and shortens as you get on the ground, so length doesn't really matter. But let's give it a go. Hold it somewhat like I hold my putter in real life. And obviously, you know, instantly, there's not much to say, is there? I mean, it's obviously going to be more realistic. The all-in-one, if, if you're not just going for golf, if you're going for other games, the all-in-one does a good job for this. Because, you know, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people have chunky putter handles anyway. This is obviously better for um, irons and driver. But as expected... We couldn't have any problems really in, in walkabout mini golf. The problem can be in golf plus on the backswing, top of the backswing, we could have tracking issues. So anyway, just thought I'd jump in here and show, yeah, you can now set up custom controller, custom attachment and uh, line it up perfectly. Anyway, let's jump into golf plus. Okay, so we're in golf plus now, the controller is way out. To adjust this one is not too hard. You go to controls and there's custom. And you hold the side trigger to freeze and move the club position now. It needs to go back a bit. That looks pretty good. You could spend ages perfecting it. But they've got the all in one, so you know, I assume they're gonna add this one at some point. That's pretty cool they got that in there. Supporting as much as they can. Right, let's see if I can not slice the heck out of this. That's the problem with this game. Um, everyone seems to complain about it, that it's just slice central. Do that enough in real life. Don't need it in a game. Now, what's going to happen going out of... Obviously, if you had the pro controllers, which wouldn't fit in this, but they wouldn't lose tracking for something like this. Big old slice, but that's not far off what I do in real life. Um, <clears throat> to be fair, my goodness, instantly the immersion level is ramped up to 100. Ramped up to 11, I should say. Oh, that's much better. Much better than with a controller, not just because it feels better, in realism terms, but how straight that went. I don't do that with a controller. With a controller, it's just always slicing the heck out of it. It's horrible. It ruined the game, really, for me. I know people get around. I don't hit it this far in real life, obviously.
Yeah, nice. Okay, awesome. Let's try. And the good thing, obviously, as I said before, with the other one, you slide it down and you're there. Um, at the controls and you've got full range, full range of control. Obviously, you only need one controller for this and walk about. You just leave the other one aside. Let's try a different club. Let's try like a 7 iron. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. This is pretty darn awesome. So, yeah, that's it really. A look at the Zyber VR Golf uh, attachment. What can I say? <laughs> I've got I've got the 3D printed one that can go on a club, but that's okay, you've got to have a 3D printer, you've got to have a club that you're willing to chop up and stick it on. Um, but this is sturdier, it's not just held on with the Velcro inside the inside the attachment and this is solid as it will go, yeah. And obviously it's going to be officially supported. So, great bit of kit, check it out uh, on their website. Um, as I say, I'm not being paid or anything for this, I've just sent it and yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for now. Any comments or questions, drop below. I'm always trying to answer. But that'll do it for now. Cheers.